What's up everyone, I'm Steven and welcome to my channel. This video is about implied volatility for options, in particular the fear index, which is also officially known as the VIX index. I'm going to talk about what information implied volatility can tell you as a trader or investor, explain how the fear or VIX index works, and opportunities to make money that informed traders and investors may be to take advantage of. Let's start with implied volatility. Implied volatility levels can tell you a lot about the market. One of the most useful is the market sentiment, or to put it another way, whether traders are feeling more bearish or bullish. There is one important index that can help you identify current implied volatility levels. It is called the VIX. Sometimes it's referred to as the fear index is a helpful tool to help traders or investors determine market sentiment. It can also be used by options traders to help make trading decisions. Let me show you how it works. First, let's discuss how the VIX works. To do this, we have to understand the relationship between stock prices and implied volatility. When stock prices are expected to make a big move up or down, investors typically purchase more options. For example, let's say the market has been falling for a few days. This will cause many traders or investors to become protective of their stock positions. As a result, many of these investors might buy options as a form of protection. This increase in demand suggests there is more uncertainty in the market. This leads to higher implied volatility levels which help market makers price in this higher level of uncertainty. Investors look to the Siebel Market Volatility Index or the VIX to determine the implied volatility of the overall market. This index tracks the implied volatility of the S&P 500 options. If the VIX is rising, demand for options is increasing, which will make options more expensive. If the VIX is falling, there is less demand for options and options prices tend to fall. Again, when there's a lot of uncertainty, traders and investors are buying options to protect their stock positions. This will lead to higher options prices set by the market makers. This is where the opportunity is for option sellers. Option sellers make money from collecting higher premiums. Traders who felt the volatility was too high and will soon fall will start selling options. The higher option prices will attract option sellers because as an option seller, you will start to see juicy option premiums. As more option sellers appear, the implied volatility will likely start to fall. Let's go through some examples of when the VIX or fear index spiked and what may have caused it. Each time investors are getting fearful and selling S&P 500 funds, there is a spike in the VIX. These spikes indicate a rise in uncertainty in the markets. If we look at the 2008 bear market, it was a tremendous moment of fear from investors and traders. The VIX skyrocketed in 2008. This was the same case if we look at the 2020 bear market. It was a tremendous amount of fear from traders and investors. The VIX skyrocketed in 2020. If you are an option seller, the options premium will have been extremely attractive and through the roof. Recognizing high implied volatility is one way market makers create their positions. Just like with stocks, you can buy low and sell high with volatility, or sell high and buy low. Accordingly, market makers often can sell options when implied volatility is high in an attempt to allow time decay to create their profits. If you are a trader or investor, consider looking at the fear or VIX index as part of your routine. It can provide valuable information for you. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video for that algorithm, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos delivered to you. Leave any questions and comments you have below. I love hearing from you guys and I read all of them. You guys have a great one.